loves thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be over this little baby right here so if you're interested then just keep watching so first let me just say i am going to have timestamps below just in case you all don't want to hear my little blurb in the beginning but first let me just say okay i feel as though i was a little bamboozled second I'm not sure if this is good for mature skin and I say that because you all already know my age. I'm 49, I'll be 50 in September and I've got some thoughts on this. I feel as though, you know, yes, the word luminous was thrown into the mix. I don't think that this is luminous. I think that this is straight up matte and that's okay you know I, it's just to me it's a matte foundation as you all know it retails for 40 dollars and it comes in 40 shades i believe if i'm wrong i will put that on the screen this particular shade that i have is in churro and this is a neutral undertone now to me this foundation is unusually thick and you know keep in mind that that's coming from a person who you know foundations that I love that look really good on my skin especially in person are on the thinner side I think that thinner types of foundations um, are better now with that being said um, I think that this is uh, would be a good foundation for people with oily skin people who are trying to be beat to the gods you got somewhere to go you want to go out and also you're not going to be up in somebody's face who will be able to see all of the thickness that's going on now that's just my opinion i think it would be great for the um those people or am i going to return this foundation absolutely not because there are some times well where i you know i want to be beat <laughs> to the gods you know i want my face to be absolutely flawless and i think that that could be achieved with this now in order for me to make this work i feel as though of course you know i do use my regular skincare routine i have a lot of skincare videos on my channel hundreds literally <laughs> of them but i use this beauty blender redo and refresh setting spray and i spray this on before and by me spraying it on before it absolutely works well with this this has some really skincare loving ingredients in it as well if you have dry skin this would be something good to try out and pick up but i find that when i pair that with this it works really well i actually have it on now now when i feel as though i want some of this yellow taken out because again even though this foundation does have a neutral undertone i don't feel as though this is neutral i think that oh, it's a lot of yellow going on I will add my it cosmetics uh, foundation in rich cool I mix these two shades together and then I feel as though I come out with the perfect shade but the reason that I didn't mix them together is because you know I just wanted you all to see you know what this particular shade looks like on my skin tone now again I was matched by someone in Sephora by a lady in Sephora and I wanted the foundation to match my body and not the outer perimeter of my face. I know some of you all have noticed how much darker that is in comparison to the rest of my body. So at the end of the day, I don't know if this is the best foundation for mature skin, unless you just have super oily skin. But if you're looking for a foundation um, that's going to have you looking natural uh, when you're in public, or when you're looking for a foundation that's gonna make you look good if you have to sit up in someone's face, <laughs> you know, right there, I don't necessarily know if I could recommend this foundation to achieve that now that's just my opinion but I, I, I don't think so but <laughs> on the flip side if you are trying to go out and you are trying to you know look flawless and just have everything to a T then yeah this this is your girl but outside of that eh, I don't know so again this video is gonna be the same format as my Clinique video that I just did I will do some comparison swatches of other foundations that I have in my collection of course you'll see the application and I will have a check-in now it's not going to be an eight hour, eight hour check-in and I'm not going to lie to y'all I'm just going to keep it on while I'm in the house and then you know go pick up my son back to the house and just kind of hanging out and you'll see the check-in after that and again I will have some pictures of uh, me with this foundation taken on outside in the light with a flash and without a flash so you can just kind of see what she's talking about so anyway on to the comparison swatches
All right, so to prep my skin, I'm going to use this Redo Set and Refresh Spray. This is by Beauty Blender. I like using this because it pairs really well with their foundation. I have it right here. And this foundation is a little bit on the thicker side. It's not as thick as the Huda foundation, but it is, you know, on the thicker side. And I think that this pairs really well with it. You know, I'll spray it before I apply the foundation. And if I need a little bit more after I apply the foundation, I will spray it again after I've added my powder and things. So anyway, this is what I'm using along with you know my regular skincare for this foundation and as you all know the foundation comes uh, looks exactly like the previous foundation I don't own that one but it's just a plastic bottle it does come with a pump and here is the shade on the back of my hand so I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying it but i forgot to tell you this side i'm going to use a brush and this is just a little dense foundation brush that i got from wet n wild and i'm just going to use a regular sponge for this side so i'm just going to go ahead and work this in okay so so far it's blending out pretty good I'm gonna go go ahead and add a little bit on my chin and remember I'm trying to match my body not the hyperpigmentation uh, on my face Okay, so this is how one layer is looking. And I'm thinking the shade matches my body okay. To me, it is coming off um, a bit more yellow, too much yellow and not enough neutral. Considering this shade is supposed to have a neutral undertone. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another layer just to see how well it will build up or not build up. <laughs> Okay, so this is how it's looking with the second layer. And I'm gonna go in and do the other side. All right, so this is what it's looking like with one layer and I'm gonna go back in with one more pump and see how this side will build up with the sponge. All right, so here we go. We have this side with a brush and this side with a sponge. And so from what I can see here, you know, in person, looking in the mirror, they, uh, they appear to have applied the same. All right, so now I'm going to add my Kosas concealer under my eye for highlighting purposes. And because this concealer is very hydrating and it's absolutely one of my favorites, All right, and I have that applied and now I'm just going to go in and cream contour with my e.l.f. cream palette. And I'm gonna use the deepest shade right here. And then to blend it out, I'm just gonna use the sponge that I use to apply my foundation. 
and blend that out. All right, so now that I have all that applied, I'm going to set everything with my Hydro Powder by Viteri. If you all haven't tried it, you have got to try it. It is so good, especially if you have dry skin but you're still looking for a good uh, powder. I would definitely try this. And then for my powder bronzer, I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown Bronzer in Natural. And let me show you all the shape. <laughs> this is the shade right here. Okay, and I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back with my full face on and I'll have everything listed below along with the shade just in case you're interested. So I'm going to come up close. <laughs> all right, so I did add some powder and some setting spray and all of that, even though, you know, this is a mattifying um, foundation, but I'm just gonna come close so you all can see what this is looking like after everything is all applied. So you all let me know what you all think about this shade. All right, so I'm not going to do a full eight hour wear test. I'm just going to be hanging around the house, cleaning up, uh, doing stuff like that, and then I'll be back in a couple of hours. All right, so see you at the one and only check-in. Okay, I'm back for my one and only check-in and I wanted to try the mask on since in her um, description she did boast that this foundation is supposed to be transfer proof and that you can wear a mask. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, so many of you already know that I wear readers so I have uh, an indention right here where the foundation has worn off and of course you can see the lines from the mask and right here where it's worn off and I don't like how this is looking even after only about five hours of wear and I feel as though I almost have a greasy look and I might have to eat my words and maybe return this because even up here it has settled really bad into the lines, so bad to where you can see it at a normal distance. And it has broken apart down here. Now when I look at the parts where the mask didn't actually touch, like right here, it doesn't look so bad. But can you all see right there, the lines? So right up in here, it's settled. Like down here, it's broken apart. Not wiped away because of the mask, but it's broken apart really bad down here and all up in here. It's just not looking good. Again, this is not one of those foundations that's gonna give you a everyday, no makeup, makeup type of look. You know, you're gonna know, or people are gonna know that you are wearing foundation with this bad booker on. So, so yeah, that's about the most that I have to say about this. Overall, I wouldn't recommend it for, you know, mature skin. I think it's too thick. I think it's absolutely too thick. I'm not at all happy with how it has worn after five hours of wear. Again, I am going to keep it, I think, because, you know, I might want to wear it if I have somewhere to go. You know, sometimes you could go out for a couple of hours and then you come back home. But to go out and to stay out, and this is not, this is not something that I would gravitate to because I don't like the way it looks in person. And I always like to grab my magnifying mirror and but I just want to see exactly what people are seeing when they're up in my face. You know, I can be thinking I'm cute, but not really. So it just, I just don't like it. It's too thick. It is too, too thick. So anyway, I think I beat that dead horse to death. 
If you got this foundation, let me know. If you got this foundation plus have the old one and you compared it and you have some thoughts on it, let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear about it. So that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.